Hello all, welcome back to the course on digital systems and uh, we were looking at the idea of a combinatorial circuit design or a combinational logic design, right? So uh, we have looked at the basic idea of, you know, some logic gates using switches and we introduced the idea of a truth table, right? So let me just start with some of the basic gates we discussed, okay? this. Okay, input A, Y, this is an inverter and we set the truth table for this gate, Y is if you give 0, you will get the opposite logic 1, if you give 1, you will get 0, right. So, this is inverter, okay. Likewise, we also looked at the idea of an AND gate okay which basically the symbol was like this okay a and b and said this is y and likewise here we said a we have two inputs so a b and y okay so you have four input combinations the truth table essentially spans all input combinations 1, 0, 1, 1, okay. So, this is basically the binary representation for 0, 1, 2 and 3, okay. And the uh, logic is simple. So, unless you have both of them on, this output will never be high, okay. Likewise, I will also just write out the truth table for a NAND gate here, okay. A, B, Y. So, this is a NAND, okay. So, A, B, Y, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and the output is going to be just the inverted version of what you got in the AND gate. So, it will be 1, 1, 1, 0. Right, so this is what we got for the AND NAND case. Likewise, we have the OR and NOR case. Okay, the OR is going to be represented using this symbol A, B, Y. So, likewise, we do the same thing here A, B, and output Y. Okay. So, same, four combinations, one, one. Now, any one of them is on, you are going to get the output as high, right? So, this is 0, 1, 1, 1. This is the OR gate. Likewise, I can construct a NOR gate, okay, which basically is like, there is a bubble added, you know, to the end, just like we did in the AND NAND case, A, B, Y. Zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay, and I'm now going to uh, simply invert the output y that we got from the OR gate. That is going to be your one zero zero zero. Right. So these are some of the very elementary gates that we sort of looked at in the previous lectures. What we are going to do now, right, is just let's build some circuit out of this. Okay, we'll build the circuit and we'll see how to analyze this circuit first of all. Okay, so I'm going to look at an example circuit. Okay, this example circuit is going to use these basic gates. Okay, and I'm going to construct some arbitrary logic out of them. Okay, so what I'll do is the example circuit that I'm going to look at effectively has something like this, okay. This is a black box. It has an input, only two inputs, A, B and it has two outputs Y1 and Y2, right. So, this is a black box that we are going to look at and 
the point is that just like I defined a truth table for the uh, uh, AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate and NAND gate, I can also define a truth table for this, right? So essentially this, there are only two inputs, A, B, I have Y1 and Y2, okay? So again, all I have to do is give 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And I need to obtain the output Y1 and Y2. Of course, right now it's a black box. I do not know what it is. So let me go ahead and just fill this circuit, right? And see, let's see what we get, okay? So uh, I'm say I'm telling you that the circuit is as follows, okay? A and I have the inverter, okay? I'm going to use only the basic gates that I showed you previously, A and B, okay? And I'm going to do the following. I'll put a NAND gate here, okay, and feed A to one of the inputs, this, this inverted value of A to one of the inputs and the inverted value of B to another input of the NAND gate, right. The NAND gate that we have spoken about till now is only two input. There are higher input NAND gates, three input, four input and so on. For now, I'm not going to worry about that. NAND, I assume, is by default a two input NAND gate. Likewise. I am going to put a NOR gate here, okay. So again, one of the inputs I will feed this, the other input I am going to draw from here, right. And of course, this dot means there is a connection. If two lines just cross each other, it means there is no connection. If I want a connection, I need to put a dot explicitly, right. So let me call this as A1 and this as B1, the output of inverter, the inverter, uh, the A inverter as A1, the output of <coughs> the B inverter as B1, right? And the output of the NAND and NOR gate are obviously Y1 and Y2 respectively, right? So this is what I am going to, you know, assume is the circuit that I have internally. Now I want to analyze this circuit and figure out what is actually happening, right? What is the truth table? And what does the circuit actually do, right? It, it's, it, it does not look, you know, obvious to us that this circuit does something that we know or we are very familiar with, right, at the first look, right? But later you will be surprised to see that this is something very obvious to us, something that we are very familiar with. And I will lead you to that discussion by analyzing the truth table one by one, okay? I'll take the first value. I am going to feed the value, so I will use some color coding here, okay. I am going to color code my inputs with 0, 0, okay. I will use blue, blue for 0, 1, I will use pink for 1, 0 and I will use, um, let me use red is over purple for 1, 1, okay. So this is what I am going to now look at. So I take the input <coughs> 0, 0, okay. I am going to take 0, 0 and I am going to propagate this input through the logic gates until the output and see what the output values are, okay. So if I give 0 to an inverter, we know from the truth table of an inverter, right. We know from the truth table here, you look at this truth table. Uh, you look at this truth table here, if you give a 0, you get a logic 1, right? So therefore, both A1 and B1 are going to be 1, 1, okay? Logic, so this is equal to, uh, maybe I'll A1 equal to, equal to, both are 1, sorry. When I give 0, 0, I get 1, 1, okay? Now, I need to find out what is, what are Y1 and Y2, okay? So you take A1, B1, both are going to the NAND gate, right? They're both going to the NOR gate also. So all I have to do is go to the truth table of my NAND gate and simply look at what the output is if I give 1, 1 as the input, right? So you have 1, 1, output <coughs> of the NAND is 0. And 1, 1 output of 
the nor is also 0. Okay. So, therefore, I can say y1 equals okay for the first case 0 0 okay now what i'll do i'll feed the next set of inputs a is 0 okay a is 0 but b is 1 now what will happen when i feed 0 to a the inverter will give me 1 so this will still remain 1 okay b1 will still b1 will now become 0 because the one input to the inverter will make it a zero, right? And the moment I have this, the input to my NAND and NOR gate are both one comma zero, right? So you go back here. Uh, this is my input that I'm talking about, one comma zero, right? And therefore, what do I have? I have uh, the output of the NAND gate going to one, output of the NOR gate going to 0 okay so i'll get 1 comma 0 right then i take the third input which is exactly the opposite 1 comma 0 right i'm feeding input a equal to 1 b equal to 0 and of course the output will invert so therefore this will be 0 this will be 1 right and now what do I have? I have the input to the NAND and NOR gate as 0 comma 1, A equal to 0, B equal to 1, right? So if you go back here and look at it, I am looking at 0 comma 1 here. What do I get? Again, my output is, for of the NAND gate is 1, output of the NOR gate is 0, 0, right? Finally, the fourth input combination is 1 comma 1, okay, both are 1 and therefore the output of the inverter has to be 0 comma 0, right. So, when I give 0 comma 0, what is happening is I am looking at this particular combination, my A and B are both 0, so the NAND gate output is 1, NOR gate output is also 1, so that is an interesting situation. So, I get 1 comma 1, okay. So, now I can go ahead and populate this truth table for y1 and y2. So, note that how many ever inputs I have, the truth table will span 2 power, you know, number of inputs, combinations of 1s and zeros, right. And for each output of my circuit, I am going to now define a truth table value for each of these combinations, okay. So, that is why I have y1 and y2. So, what I will do is, I am going to populate this again in the right color code. This is 0, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1, okay. And y2 is going to be 0, 0, 0 and purple is 1, right. So, effectively what I have done now is obtained the truth table by which you can completely define this circuit, right. That is what a truth table actually does, right. So, now the point I that I am going to make is I have the truth table for, for all four combinations for y1 and y2. What does this truth table resemble? what does y1 actually look like and what does y2 look like, right. So, let us go back and look at our truth tables that we had for the AND and NAND. So, you see that the AND and NAND is 0, 0, 0, 1, right. Only when both are 1, the output is a high, right. So, if you look at y2, what it seems to suggest to us is that only when both A and B are high, y2 is going high, right. So, this suggests to us that this guy here is probably an AND gate, okay. Likewise, y1, if you look at it, when any one of A or B happens to be 1, the output y1 is going high. Therefore, 
this guy seems to suggest that it is an OR gate. Okay, this is just by inspection, by looking at the truth table, right? So I have two inputs, four combinations. For all four combinations, the truth table exactly matches that of the AND and OR gate for Y2 and Y1 respectively, right? So therefore, technically, I can actually replace this entire circuit by the following, right? A, B, okay. I have an AND gate here. I have a an OR gate. Uh, no, is that right? No, Y2 is my AND. So, it's the other way down. So, I have an AND gate here. I have an OR gate here. Y1, Y2. Right? And I have an input here. Okay? So now, what we see is a circuit which had four gates, two inverters, one NAND, one NOR gate, has simply reduced to a circuit with two gates, one AND and one OR gate, okay? So effectively, uh, the circuit somehow has reduced itself to this form, right? Now, the question really is, Every time, should I be dealing with a truth table in order to handle this simplification, to figure out that this circuit on the left is actually just or the combination of A inversion, B inversion feeding into a NAND gate is just an OR gate, right? Do I need to go through the truth table? Because now you just think about this, if I make this three inputs, four inputs, five inputs, I could do the same thing for any number of inputs, right? I could uh, extend this example, same thing, invert every input with, an, with, let's say there are n inputs A1 to An, I invert every input and feed it to an n input NAND gate uh, and an n input NOR gate, right? So, will that then resemble an n input OR gate and an n input AND gate? It turns out the answer is yes, okay? But, if I did this for n inputs, right, then I would need 2 power n input combinations, right? So, if I, for example, did this to a 10 input gate, then I would need 2 power 10, 1024 combinations for me to check if that statement is true, right? And clearly, that is not going to scale, okay? So, this is, you know, one example, right, where uh, we actually had fewer inputs and uh, all the inputs were sort of affecting every output, okay?